today we are going to talk about the pancreas histology so we are here in the human body esophagus coming from the mouth the stomach after the stomach the small intestine and the large intestine pancreas is present at the curve of the small intestine called duodenum Now if we zoom into the pancreas this is the duodenum and pancreas is present as the C curve of the duodenum The pancreas is both exocrine and endocrine gland Exocrine means it secretes in the ducts and endocrine means it secretes in the blood now exocrine part of the pancreas is constituted of the ducts these are the ducts of pancreas and these ducts also form some sections of the pancreas called lobules and endocrine parts remain with the exocrine part in the lobules these are islet like structures in the lobules so they are also called islets of langerhans they are lightly stained now starting with the exocrine part the pancreas and the exocrine ducts forming the lobules in the pancreas now zooming into the ducts of the pancreas this is the main pancreatic duct it has some branches which forms the lobules that is they are present between two lobules so they are called interlobular ducts now these interlobular ducts also have some branches these branches goes inside the lobules so these are present inside lobules so they are called intralobular ducts now intralobular ducts also have some branches and they are called intercalated duct these intercalated ducts end into a pouch like structure called acini now we will look into the acini one acini this region is called acini and is connected to the intercalated duct acini have some cells those are pyramidal in structure and have prominent nuclei these acinar cells also have zymogenic granules acinar cell and zymogenic granules these are the cells of the duct these are called duct cells and the cells of duct which are present inside the acini are called centroacinar cells these acini release some product which will travel through this path and meet the main pancreatic duct and will be released in the small intestine and in the duodenum now looking into the product of the acini or the pancreas exocrine gland we will see two products zymogens those are inactive enzymes and some enzymes which are active in zymogens we will say 
trypsinogen precursor of trypsin chymotrypsinogen and procarboxypeptidase in enzymes there are amylase and lipase lipase is for lipid digestion amylase for carbohydrate digestion now when trypsinogen comes to the small intestine it will be converted into trypsin with the help of enterokinase in the small intestine and this trypsin also stimulate the chymotrypsinogen to become trypsin and trypsin helps in the protein digestion now coming to the endocrine part of the pancreas these are lightly stained islets in the lobules surrounded by the acinar cells also this is one islet this islet have some special cells at the periphery these are alpha cells which constitute 20 to 30 percent of the pan and of the islets and this will release glucagon another type of cells which constitute 70 percent of the islet these are beta cells and mainly present in the middle portion these release insulin hormone one another kind of cell is delta cells these constitute five percent of the islet and will release delta uh, and these will release somatostatin hormone another kind of cell is f cell or pp cell these constitute five percent of the islet and will release polypeptide and these islets are called islets of langerhans and the endocrine part constitute only 2% of the pancreas